Hello everyone. My name is Christina Mahar and I am a teacher at Pinewood Elementary School in CMS. And I wanted to share with everyone how I get a reading A to Z book onto Book Creator. So um, you see the screen right here. I'm in reading A to Z.com and I have already logged in. And I went ahead and chose a book called Carlos Goes to School. And so what I'm going to do now that I'm logged in and I've selected my book, I'm going to go right here and click on single sided book. And you can see it'll pull up onto the screen the pages of the book. Now when you're at this point you have two choices in order to get these images onto your camera roll which is what you need to put the book then in Book Creator. So once the book pulls up you could simply screenshot each page. So let me show you how I would do that. Here's page number one. I would simply click here and the power button at the same time to screenshot. And then I would look to my camera roll. The image I screenshotted from that page is right here. And I really don't like the toolbar at the top, so you could edit, select this button here, which is crop, and then crop out the parts of the page that you don't want. Hit the button done, and that page is ready to go in your camera roll. So that's one way to get the picture in the camera roll. The other way would be if I go right back to where I was in reading A to Z, and I am in Safari, just, just in case you need to know that. I'm not using Chrome. I'm using Safari, and so right here is the image of the book that I downloaded and opened up from reading A to Z.com. When you click your finger on the screen, right here at the top, you also see a feature that says open in iBooks. If you click that, this whole book and all the pages within it will open up in iBooks, which is the way I do it. Um, I, for some reason, I find this a little faster. So instead of cropping every single page, so what I do here, and it's also nice because once it's in iBooks, you have that book. You don't have to kind of log in again to reading it as easy. So that saves you a step in the future if you need an image again. So here I am in iBooks. If you look in my library right here, the book is right here. So I just open it up. And then with two fingers, I select the page I want and make it the size I want. And then again, I screenshot each page. So screenshot this page. Go to the next page. I like this one as well, screenshot. This is the next page, screenshot. And you keep that until you've gotten all the pages of the book that you want, okay? So as you're screenshotting, all these images are going to your camera roll. So if I were to look in my camera roll and I see these images, they're all right here. So there they are on my camera roll right here. Okay? So now once that's done, I'm ready to go to Book Creator. So I go to the Book Creator app, and I want to select New Book. And my coworker Jillian and I, we, we kind of prefer landscape, but it really depends on you. It depends on the size of the pages. So I'm going to select Landscape. And then right here, you'll see the plus sign. And then you will go to Photos. I like to choose Moments because since I just have done it, it will kind of help me organize it a little bit better so I'm not looking at all my pictures. So here are the ones I've done today. So as you can see right here, here's the first page. I'm going to select it and import it into Book Creator. So that's it. At this point in Book Creator, the blue square around it allows you to make this image larger or smaller move it around and center it. And then the feature that I like the most is if you hold your finger down on the screen, 
you will see these buttons up here. If you click lock, you will then see an X on the blue dot, and this will make sure that when the students are touching the book, like right now I'm moving my finger across the screen, that picture won't move. So that's really nice, especially with the younger students, to kind of lock those images up, and it allows them to not you know, move it around while they're reading. So I'll do one more. I hit this arrow to go to the next page. Again, I go to the plus sign, go to my photos, moments, the camera roll. Here's the next page I would like, is right here. I hold my finger down on the image and up pops these buttons and I hit the word lock. I will see the X to confirm that I did lock that image and it's ready to go. So I do this for each page and then what I do is once I have completed that book, I'll go here and click on my books and there's the book that I've just done, Carlos Goes to School. At this point, once I've, I've made the book into Book Creator, then I airdrop it to students. Um, so if you go down here into this box with an arrow and click on it, I'm sorry, not that one. If you go to the bottom of your screen and, and move up, so um, the way I was taught is you just kind of hit the edge of the iPad on the bottom and move your finger up and you'll see AirDrop. As long as you have AirDrop everyone and the student's AirDrop is on, once I press that button, this whole book that I've made will be AirDropped into their iPads. You just have to make sure you're on this book. If you're on this book, of course, this is the book that will AirDrop. So again, move that up and go get your AirDrop. Make sure it's AirDrop everyone and AirDrop the book into the kids' iPads. And then what I've also found is just after a couple of weeks, you can have students help you to create one book in Book Creator, and then they can airdrop it to everyone. So that's pretty much it. And then the only other thing I would add to that is the feature in uh, Reading A to Z has a great comprehension test questions and worksheets that you can do exactly the same thing. Screenshot, put it in your camera roll, and then put it into Book Creator. The only thing I've noticed is that when you want to give them the assessment at the end of the week, if you give it to them in their Book Creator book at the beginning of the week, my students were tending, the older ones were wanting to take the test before there was time. So I like to airdrop the test on Friday or whichever day you want them to take it. So let me show you that. I'm back again in Safari and reading a to z.com. I am going to go to that screen where I've selected the book and it's the screen that has all these great resources, the lesson plans, the worksheets. And here in this bottom corner you see comprehension quiz. I'm going to click on that. Here. And with the quiz and Again, open it in iBooks, right here. Or just simply screenshot that screen if you wanted to do that. But I have it here in iBooks. I will screenshot that test. Page one, page two. It's now in my camera roll, so I can go directly to Book Creator, go back to the book that I made and go to the pages and add it at the end. Or what you could do at this point too, which actually I think is better than what I was about to show you. If you go to your camera roll on test day, that image of that test is in your camera roll. At this point, just airdrop this test to the students. So again, lift up the bottom of the screen to get your airdrop. Airdrop it to everyone. The moment you airdrop it to everyone, those two pages of that test will go into the student's iPad camera roll, and the students can then go into Book Creator, 
go to the last page of their book and the students can then go to the plus sign, go to their photos since you airdropped it to their camera roll, and then import that test into their book creator book. So that's all for now. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, again, my name is Christina Mahar at Pinewood Elementary. And have fun using Book Creator. I know I do. So thanks a lot.